In this tutorial, we will download and set up Git on our Windows 10 machine. This slide shows the official Git homepage and the download and installation URL for Git. These are the high level steps we will take to get Git installed and set up on our system. First, we will go to the download page for Git and download the Git for Windows 10. We will then run the downloaded executable and perform all the required setups. After which, we will verify that Git has been installed correctly using the installed Git Bash terminal. Here we are on the selected Git downloads page. We will select the 64 bit Git for Windows Setup, save it, show in folder, and select Run as Administrator. Accept the license, accept the default directory location, say yes. Yes, we want additional icons on our desktop. Click Next. Yes, we want that shortcut. And for our default editor, since this is Windows, we're going to use Notepad++ as our default editor. Select Next. We select the recommended option. Now, if you work in a company with a Windows Active Directory setup, you want to use the native Windows Secure Channel Library. We will select the default here, and we will select the default Git Bash terminal here. Here we will select the default, and we will use the new credential helper. Select the default options here, no experimental options, and install. And we'll launch Git Bash. It opens up the release notes for us. Let's just have a look at our Git Bash. It is in our users directory. If we have our Git repos in other locations, we need to change our directory. Now we are in our root C drive. This lists all of our directories. So let's go to one of our previous Git repositories. And we see that this is a git repo, as we have a .git folder. And it looks good. It looks like our git install has been successful. And we can look at our previously installed local git repositories. And that concludes this lecture.